This is a 3.2 litre fully internaled 3D printed PC case. Now for the start of the show. The toughest part of any small form factor build is squeezing in both a dedicated graphics card and an internal power supply. To save every millimetre of space, I went with a HD Plex 250 watt unit, just enough power for the setup. For the GPU, I'm using a Yeston RTX 3060, which I'll be stripping down to the bare PCB to keep the footprint as small as possible. After several iterations, this is the design I'm finally satisfied with. I've managed to fit a 40mm fan above the motherboard to help exhaust hot air while adding sleek side vents primarily for GPU airflow. The power button is positioned on the front and in future revisions I'd like to include at least one front mounted USB port for convenience. To save space, the power supply is mounted at the top of the case using four tabs. One challenge I ran into was the back panel warping when the motherboard was installed, so I added slots at the top and bottom of the chassis to reinforce the structure. Now that the case is finalised, let's start the print process.
and just like that, it's complete. The final build came in at just over 3.2 litres, which is kind of wild considering how capable it ended up being. In CS2 on medium settings, it averaged around 160 to 170 FPS with highs pushing close to 200 FPS. Temps were pretty solid too, both the CPU and GPU hovered in the high 70s peaking at around 82 degrees after extended gameplay. For a fully 3D printed enclosure, I'm really happy with those results. This first version turned out way better than I imagined. It's compact, efficient and performs like a full size rigged packed into a 3 litre shell.